So, would you listen if I told you there's a love that makes the way? Hi everyone, I'd like to start off by saying that I do not own the rights to this song. Um, the rights are all to the artist and the publishing companies. My goal here is to critique the music, comment on the instrumentation, and to add my own personal opinion on performances, lyrics, and nothing more than that. So now that we got that out of the way, we are continuing in the Hillsong United uh, album, Live in Miami. So far, the two songs that I've heard, I've loved. A very high energy. I'm not sure what to expect on this one. We've already covered with everything and we've covered Go. If you can let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite, I would love to hear about it. So up next is the song called Break Free, but before we get to that, I just want to invite you over to Instagram to make song suggestions for my next videos. So if you'd like to make a suggestion, join me on Instagram. I would also like to take a moment to thank all of you who are supporting this channel via Patreon. This channel would not be here without you. So thank you very much for your support. All right, so without further delay, let's grab our headphones and let's take a listen to Break Free from the Live in Miami album. Oh, guys. Let's start it off. Oh, I like this style. Thank you. Beautiful. <laughs> I love this. I'm sorry I didn't listen to you all and review this sooner. <laughs> I love this. That bass. Oh! Wow! Oh, I always want to drag the beat. I love this, guys. Ooh! Oh, that was delicious. <laughs> this is awesome. Nice. Oh, Joel, come on, Joel. Awesome writer. Ooh, the guitars in the background are amazing. Yes! A basis, mmm, delicious. <laughs> Oh, that rhythm guitar is... <laughs> Going bananas on stage. Oh, that bass is so nice and crispy. I used to love doing that on stage. Oh. Ah, yes. Ah, 
Oh, pop, pop, pop. We're gonna make sure to end it like that. Ooh. Yes. Yes, Hillsong. Wow. Okay. Oh, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I'm ready to take on the day. Nothing's gonna stop me. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Um, so, um, amazing. I, I have to make it to one of their concerts one day. I just have to. Come on, Rona, be gonna already. In this album, I really like what Joel is doing. I'm assuming that he's the main writer in this, in this album. <laughs> I can appreciate the newer stuff now because of where he came. You could tell that in his most recent music, he sort of softened his approach, right? So it makes me appreciate his music a lot more. I didn't give him enough credit in the last album that we covered, but Joel is a just, he's an excellent songwriter. All the stops in between, there's a part in there where it was like really quiet and then he started back up again. Uh, my favorite, one of my favorite things is that little guitar riff. And that, that sort of distorted uh, sound that he has. The drummer really shined on this one too. The bass player stood out. He had a little nice uh, crispy um, effect to his bass, which was just beautiful. It was, this was awesome. I think so far this is my favorite song. All right, so let's get to the ratings and lyrics. I'm gonna give it five Archies. The lyrics again are positive and the lyrics are very heartfelt. Uh, music, I'm gonna give it 10 Archies. The the energy on here was just ridiculous. It was, it was incredible. Let me know in the comments down below which part of this song was your favorite and what the lyrics mean to you. The fun in our journey isn't over yet. You could take a small detour and revisit any of these songs. If you're new, you're really gonna enjoy these. Shout out to La Familia. As always, help me spread love, help me spread peace, help me spread music. And if you like this song and you want somebody else to enjoy it, I want you to please share it with them and I will see you in our next adventure.